A small fraction of skilled nursing facilities received virus test results back in less than a day, and nursing homes get a third of a billion dollars for meeting infection control standards. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, November 4th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Despite the federal government supplying every eligible nursing home in the country with virus rapid testing equipment, only a small fraction of them were taking advantage of it, a small team of researchers revealed on Friday. Even in hotspot counties where the Department of Health and Human Services had delivered point-of-care devices by mid-August, less than 17% of providers posted testing turnaround times of less than 24 hours as of late September. Quote, lots of facilities are not even using the test, study lead Brian McGarry, Ph.D. of the Division of Geriatrics and Aging of the Department of Medicine at the University of Rochester said. He continued, they receive them and they're just sitting on a shelf someplace, and then the ones who are using them, it appears that it's not their primary means of testing. It's kind of like an add-on. McGarry and three Harvard-affiliated researchers posted their findings in a research letter in JAMA Internal Medicine on Friday. Test turnaround was three days or longer for 55% of skilled nursing facilities for the first week of September. It decreased to 40% by September 27th. Epidemiologists consider a 24-hour or less turnaround essential to preventing or containing virus outbreaks. The rapid test can produce results in roughly 15 minutes, but feedback option used by federal regulators was less than 24 hours, researchers explained. Nursing homes may be seeing a rise in virus infections as cases in many areas of the country are resurging, but providers now know that no matter what, they will be rewarded for safer performances between last August and September. Approximately a third of a billion dollars, 333 million, will be distributed to more than 10,000 nursing homes starting this week, the Department of Health and Human Services announced on Wednesday. More than three-fourths, 77%, qualified for payment with 76%, qualifying with lower infection and mortality criteria during the August to September measurement period. It marked the first incentive segment of five that are scheduled under a $2 billion pandemic funding plan that officials announced in August. The performance-based payment structure pays nursing homes that keep new virus infection and mortality rates among residents lower than the communities they serve as analyzed against CDC data. Providers' actions contributed to 1,200 fewer pandemic-related nursing home deaths between August and September. Quote, today's announcement illustrates how complementing relief payments with outcome-based payments help to yield positive results in improving quality and infection control in nursing homes, the HHS announcement said. The performance payments are part of an additional $5 billion in aid for skilled nursing providers announced by the Trump administration in late July. The initial $2.5 billion in upfront payments was released in late August to help nursing homes increase testing, staffing, and PPE needs. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.